then what I'm going to do is grab these other pieces that are actually stuck to me now. And there's one. So this is the inside of the R. Stay there. I think. Nope. Yep, this is the inside of the R. And that's upside down. This is the E. And I'm just gonna push it through. Didn't get my eye off. Straighten out the inside of the W. Charlie. Okay, so here we are. We're just going to be really careful about painting um, the black on here as well. So grabbing my black. I have any left. I don't really have much left on here. So again, I would really, really recommend a sponge. But the one thing I will say is if you're like me and you wash your sponges, it has got to be dry because it, you know, any extra liquid will just push it right under, especially not having the base coat. We could have base coated it with white or the blue, but sometimes that extra barrier shows of just outside of the stencil. And so then you have a whole nother ball of wax if you don't like the look of that, because then you feel like, you know, in the areas that like it, you're painting just slightly over the white and you did it with the blue or vice versa, sometimes it shows. So I'm just gonna be really careful, make sure that I'm just really pushing down firmly, but not too, too hard. All right, so there it is. I'm gonna remove it right away. Um, if you are worried about yours pulling up, like sometimes if you're using like an acrylic and you have a lot of different layers and maybe didn't let it dry for too, too long, you might wanna actually let it sit. Don't typically have that problem with like a chalk paint. Personally, so. We did good. More inspection right here. I'm just gonna clean it up with my razor blade. And then I, since it looks good, I'm just gonna go ahead and let it sit and I will lead it, those letters back out in just a minute. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, put these in water. Um, I'm going to grab my block. My snowflake. And my snowman. So I'm just trying this glue out. It's the Gorilla Glue Gel. I think I showed it to you in the beginning. And I'm just giving it a whirl. Somebody had said that it, they have found that it worked really good on wood. And actually theirs was like a kind of a crafty home type of a project. They're not like, he's not like a crafty like us. So I was like, well, I'll just use it and see what happens. I'm always curious to try something new. So these are um, just slightly larger. 
and um, I have a marker. The other thing I'm gonna do really quick is give him, I guess I could have done this a bit ago. Oh, where did it go? Uh, somewhere on, around here is some Baker's twine. Here it is. So that I just did. Um, I just knotted it. And I will trim it as soon as it's... Um, he's dry. So I have a really, really thin um, marker, Sharpie, whatever. And I just gave him a little two eyeballs, a smile, and three little buttons. There we go. Next, we're gonna put some glue on him. I kind of have to keep reminding myself that I'm working with super glue. So I don't make a boo-boo. And then the other thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna figure out which direction you want it to go. So I kind of have mine facing diagonal. There he is. That's done. Let's see, snowflakes are done. is not done. I'll try to um, let this dry and get back on here. I just made her, I free handed her whole face with my orange marker and the same little marker that I showed you guys just a second ago that I used and I just did her eyelashes nose and smile and then you have the stencil for her snowflake so i'm sorry guys i just i have not had a chance to really like sit and cut those out but i want i didn't want to um not record these right away so that you guys were not able to get started right away so kind of um the process um there's one other thing I was gonna show you or do or say, I don't remember what it was, it's gone now. Oh, so this is basically done as well. I can really quickly just go ahead and do the weeding part of it. Um, and then the same process with how, like get your glue and you'll just put a little bit of glue, not a whole lot on the back side of it um and glue it on we were going to do the velcro but i think overnight we decided that's going to be a pain in the butt and we're just going to order these new every single month and so some will have a frame some will it gives us opportunity as well and so you will have your sign of the month every month for this year just like we did the velcro last month last year and it's just going to change it up a little bit something fun but something to be expected and um you'll be expecting it each month so there is that and go ahead and um, paint your stand. And um, if you have any questions, as always, just reach out. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. And I'm so excited to see how they all turn out. Thank you so much for posting all the photos. It totally makes my day. And I'm working on a fun couple of reels coming up with your projects that you have posted this year. So make sure that you keep on posting them. Merry Christmas if I don't see you before then. And thank you all so, so much for supporting us and supporting my family. All right. Bye, guys.